Well, welcome to Cincinnati. Thanks, man. It's good to be here. You got uh, family in these parts. I do. I do. I have family here, and uh, my cousin's going to be here today, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, going into the whole uh, yeah. idol thing, yeah. what were your expectations and walking away from it, did they match up in, in the end? Um, well, my expectations weren't really on the same week to week, you know. I mean... You go on the show, you, you try to just get your name out there, it's really, and I think anyone that says they go on the show and they think they can win right out of the gate, I mean, I don't, I don't think so, you know, you, you can't, when you're standing in a room full of 15,000 or whatever it is and there's over 100,000 people auditioning, it's really hard to sit there and be like, oh yeah, I got this, you know, so <laughs> that was kind of my, uh, my whole theory during the whole time was just to every week take it on an individual basis and just go out there and try your best, you know, you're not going to have the best week every week, but, you know, if you can at least show you're trying, um, you know, I think you'll be fine. What's the, what's the record going to sound like? It's going to be good, man. It's it's going to be um, a little different than what I think what people expect. You know, I think, you know, coming off the show, there was a lot of talk of, you know, he's this rock guy, he's this rock guy. And, and I love rock, you know, and my album will have elements of rock in it, but I'm really into that folk, you know, that folk um, jam kind of rock, you know, and that's, that's really what I'm going to be doing. And, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be me, you know. It's I have my hand in the in the uh, in the cookie jar, you know, you. big time. So they'll let me do a lot of things I want to do on the album, and uh, I'm writing on almost every song, you know. Uh, um, we have, we're not done with that, obviously, but I mean, I've been doing a lot of writing, and it's it's I'm happy with everything so yeah. far. So I mean, between everything going on on the road and you're finishing up on the tour tomorrow, what happens day one after the day tour? Day one, up? I'm going to be with my family. Oh, good. For a little while, uh, a couple days with them, and then. Once that's done, it's, you know, off to L.A., New York, or wherever I'm going to be, and be recording and writing and doing all that stuff. And then, you know, anticipating the album coming out, so do a lot of, uh, you know, promo stuff for that, which will be fun. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be cool to have the transformation from the Idol Tour thing into doing my own music thing. And my fans have been so good to me so, since uh, the beginning that, you know, I, I know they're all looking forward to that transfer as well. And I think it's going to be just a really good thing to put my music out there and do my thing and have them, you know, um, you know, be involved in that as well, you know, and, and start my music career. Cool. All right, let's do a couple of uh, questions from listeners. Yeah. If you hadn't been uh, made it onto American, and this is from uh, Angie, if you hadn't made it onto American Idol and gone as far, gone as far as winning the whole thing, what would you be doing back home? I'd be playing gigs and working my job, and that's a fact, you know, I'd be pushing hard to play all the festivals, making my own flyers, doing all that stuff I used to do, and now I don't have to do that, so I'm happy. But I know there are a lot of struggling uh, musicians out there, and you know, I, I took a chance, and I think that the most important thing you can do if you're trying to you know, make it in, in the music business is take risks and take chances, but also don't you know, change who you are. Be yourself always, because it's a lot easier to get through you know, the process of, of this or whatever route you take when you're just being yourself, you know. And you, and you did that on the show. I mean, it's just watching the show, I mean, you, I thought I had a really good feel of who you were. Yeah. And you didn't, I didn't think you conformed to anything. You didn't and I wouldn't, and I wouldn't, you know, and it's not that I, I'm against the grain or anything like that. It's just, I don't care whether I'm on American Idol or I'm at my house with my friends or playing a small bar full of 50 people, it doesn't matter. I'm always going to be the same guy and, uh, you know, and for me, truthfully, um, on the show, a big question for them was, you know, your confidence, your confidence. And I was like, say what you got to say, you know, because I know me and I know who I am as a musician, as a person, um, and as an artist in general. And it's, you know, and it, it, for me, I just did what I had to do and, you know, it worked out well and I'm happy it did. So thank you to you guys for your support. Yeah. It worked out all right, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, man, it worked out real good. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Well, so. And for uh, all the updates and stuff, um, on what I will be doing, you can go to uh, Lee DeWise Official okay. uh, dot com, or you could go to check out my Twitter. I'm always updating what I'm doing. Uh, it's at Lee DeWise, and uh, you know, just recently I got on board with uh, Feeding America, oh, cool. so awesome. I'm doing a lot, a lot of that stuff. It's a, it's a really good program. I mean, there's a lot of people in our country, our own country, you know, that that are uh, are hungry, you know, and I didn't know anything about it actually. Um, before I before I did my research and it's you hear numbers like one out of every six Americans or 49 million people here are, are, are starving you know you're like wow you know so it's I'm glad I got to be involved because this is this is things like this I wasn't able to do before you know so um, you know you could check out check out the website Cheesecake Factory all that stuff and you know make your pledges whatever they are and it's, it's a good thing man